Hockey Canada officially removes midget wording from minor hockey after public backlash. It's very derogatory. We're working on the M word, a representative has said. Welcome back to Andrew Says Remember, I Wouldn't Lie to You, except for maybe this once. Now, when I first read this, I said, this has to be fake news. I, said, I saw it on Facebook, which is a very good indicator that you're about to read something fake. Uh, they were probably just changing the names anyway, I thought. And somebody probably saw the opportunity for clickbait, and they jumped on that, as we always do. Uh, I saw this headline, and no offense to this website, Hockey Feed, but I don't really know them. I, I didn't really believe it. Uh, call me jaded, but I have a hard time believing headlines and news stories right off the jump these days. But then I saw this tweet from a hockey writer who was quoting uh, the Hockey Canada Board of Directors. It says, we believe everyone should feel welcome in the game. Michael Brindamore, chair of the Hockey Board of Canada, director says in a statement. And then I saw a couple headlines from sources I recognized, but they didn't say anything about being offended. Here they are. Now, to my surprise, I know even I get surprised sometimes, you guys. <laughs> this was from Global News, and when I actually read the articles, which is something you do need to do, you know, Sometimes you gotta actually read the article. Not a lot of people doing that these days. It says this, The changes started when Regina Scott, maybe Regina, I don't know, who has a young son with dwarfism, reached out to the local youth basketball association in Guelph, Ontario, after noticing the term midget on a banner at the mall. The term has long been used as youth age category title across several sports. However, the word is considered a derogatory slur. Then it's followed by the statement I read earlier. So not only is this true, but it's all coming from somebody being offended. Just one person being offended. Now, I have nothing against little people. I think that should be pretty obvious. Why would I? But to change the name, which is clearly not meant to be offensive due to one person complaining, is a little bit ridiculous. Can't we see that? But I was wrong. Yes, even I, <laughs> even I read articles sometimes, but I'm also wrong from time to time. There were other complaints. Now, if we go back to the original article, which I was so biased about, it tells us more about it. Earlier this year, the Alberta Little, Pe Little People Association, a real thing, fought to have the long-standing term in minor hockey, which they say is outdated and offensive, removed from the sport. In Alberta, and indeed most of Canada, players aged 16 and 17 play midget hockey, which of course is an outdated term for little people similar to dwarf. We want to raise awareness to that to say that this word is not appropriate anymore jessica hayhoe uh who is the group's vice president told calgary radio station now as i'm reading this i'm thinking can there be any more <laughs> canadian anything more canadian than people uh being offended we've got little people we've got hockey we've got a person with the last name hayhoe and this is national news in canada this is the might be the most canadian thing I have read all year. The article continues with perhaps taking the words right out of my mouth, maybe right out of your mouth. This sounds crazy. If this all it says, if this all sounds crazy to you, it's just a name after all. This movement in Alberta is not the first of its kind. Manitoba, British Columbia, Ontario, and Prince Edward Island have all taken up the case to eliminate the word as well. Sport Manitoba is, Ontario Basketball, Hockey BC. Um, these other hockey organizations, the U.S. Hockey Federation did this in 26, 2017, eliminating the word, so it's becoming more worldwide, not just here in Canada. So, it be f I, I'm lost for words. They took the words right out of my mouth. It sounds ridiculous. Um, usually this type of stuff is, but it turns out a lot of people are complaining about it. Now, before I show you what changed on the Hockey Canada website, I want to remind you to support me on Patreon. Can't keep this going forever without any patron, without any financial backing from YouTube, who's not going to give it to us. Just up uploaded a new podcast interview I did on my Patreon channel. And a reminder, if you're watching this on the Vesby app, uh, don't forget to click in the top right corner, which I guess would be here, left hand, right hand, right here, and click on follow so you get a notification whenever I post. What is the Vesby app, you ask? Why the Vesby app? It's a video app that's blowing up. They got billboards out in uh, California, I think. I'm on it. It supports free speech, which is why I'm on it. It's free speech that thing that YouTube used to care about, or did they ever, really, which everybody used to care about. Now they can kick you off for whatever they want. What's the new, uh, what's the new term? I have it written down here somewhere. Not commercially viable. So if you don't make enough money for YouTube, or they don't think 
that they, that you will make enough money for them, they can kick you off or demonetize you, or you know, call, say you're doing hate speech. Literally any reason now is what we've boiled it down to. They don't care about the creators. Uh, so Fesby for free speech is what I've been saying. Maybe I should make a campaign out of it. If you go to the Hockey Canada website now, it is in fact eliminated. As you can see here, it says under 18, formerly midget. I'm waiting for the first person to actually complain about it still saying midget on the website. You can't say this. They're, first, they try to take away the word midget. Next, they're going to try to take away woman and man. It's already happening, people. So my first reaction to this is, wow, I'm surprised that for once a lot of people do actually have a problem with something instead of it just being, you know, lies on Twitter. But my second reaction is it's kind of weird that they don't mention any of these groups. Instead, they just go for the child story. Yes, the kid started in Canada, but it happened three years ago across the board in the United States and obviously elsewhere. So it's not like it's groundbreaking. I just think it's... it. it, it it's part of a larger theme I see in the media where they don't actually care about this stuff. They just want to go with what sells, right? So five little person groups can complain about something and somebody else actually did it before. But then if they can run a story across the country, which is what they've done, you look, they've all just grabbed the, the Canadian press version of the story and copy and paste it. If they can all can run this about a kid's feelings being hurt. Well, that's just good news. <laughs> that seems like it's a barrier for entry is, is, if a child's, if we can use a child in any way, that's just good news. Is that the barrier for any other profession? Like, is a comedian writing a joke? Say, as long as a child is offended, I know we've got a good joke here. Coming up with good policy. Has any child been hurt? Can we push this with any child's feelings being hurt? <laughs> we have the cure for cancer. We're standing by, but we're waiting for this to publish a story about it in case a child's feelings were hurt. If that happens, then we can go ahead and print it. <laughs> That's what's happening in the newsrooms across the country, I think. Let me know what you think. Do you think it's silly because nobody actually uh, uses the word midget in sports as a derogatory term for little, little people? Or is it the fact that a lot of people are actually legitimately offended? Is that a good enough reason to change the wording on it? Or do activists... Uh, I'll give you an option C here, because this is about freedom. Do actu activist groups actually represent the will of the people? Because it could be the case. I'm, I mean, you look at some trans activist groups or LGBT activist groups, and a lot of people in those communities disagree with them. It's just people, as usual, looking to get political power and such and funding. I would have to wonder if that's the same. Is there a bunch of little people who don't actually care, and they're just like, whatever, it's a sport. Uh, this term's been around for a long time. Nobody's actually trying to insult us. I don't know. Activist groups don't re represent the, the will of the people for me. Let me know what you think, and I wouldn't lie to you, except for maybe this once. No hate speech, you guys. Not in sports.